Hey everyone, welcome to our, I think this is going to be our last part for flow documents and documents in general. Uh, in this part we're going to see how to convert our flow document into a PDF file. Okay, having said that, um, let's run this, see where we left off. Alright, so we had bunch of good stuff here um, three pages Let's go to page two and page three okay so that's what we had so far so we're going to convert this into a PDF file okay so I'm going to add a button here and I say block UI container you can add into a inline UI container as well if you want to, it depends. But in our case, we're going to use block UI container. Button, I'm going to get in content of uh, print PDF, well, or convert to PDF, whichever you fit, you see fit. And then let's get a click event. Okay, new event handler and close this out. Okay, so let's go to the code behind. Go to definition. So in here we are first going to um, bring in the print dialog. Print dialog PD equals new print dialog. Okay. Then I'm gonna say if PD that show dialog equals equals true okay then I'm going to say I document document page okay this is the guy we're looking for this interface uh, IDP equals oh forgot to name the uh, flow document so we got to give it a name to our flow document here so let's give it a name let's call this flow doc Okay, now let's go back here. So I'm going to set this to flow duck. Okay, and next I'm going to say pd dot print document and pass in idp dot. Oopsie, idp. Am I doing something wrong? IPD. Oh, Jesus. IDP. I document page and error source. Okay, IDP dot document page and uh, paginator. So we're going to pass that in as a first uh, argument, and then we'll get it as string text. Say uh, flow document as the second argument it's just text okay all right so i think this should do it let's try this out so i'm gonna build this and run it okay let's run this if i click this button we should be able to select the Microsoft print to PDF printer and print to PDF. It's relatively easy. Let's call this flow doc to PDF one and save it and see what result we, we get. Okay, so I'm going to open my uh, folder. Alright, this guy is what we just created. Let's open it up. Okay, so we got our flow document converted to PDF. Okay, pretty cool. Alright, that's the result we get. Um, <clears throat> we are not limited to this. 
and we can if you change this to a uh, scroll viewer you probably get a different result let's try this now uh, let's say flow document let's call this number two let's just change the one to two to make life easier and let's save that and see what kind of result we get let's open this one okay now we got totally a different result okay so now we have two columns and uh, one page versus the other one was what three pages or two pages one two three Okay, and this one is only one page with two columns. Okay, so the other way we could do things. Let's try this one too. I'm just curious. I never tried myself. This one is three pages as well. So let's try this one too. Call this number three and open that up. Uh, this one looks similar to the second one, but the page sizes are shorter. Right? It's like half page. Let's check the other one, the second one. No, actually this is one page and we have two columns so those are the few ways you could do it and the other way probably we can set the page size this will bring us some of the other properties that we have for the flow document itself we cover documents I mean properties for you know some of the elements like paragraph list so on but we really haven't touched on some of the properties for the flow document. Um, so what we can do here, we can say uh, something like column gap, column rule brush. Let's try this one, column rule brush. Let's say blue, okay. Column width, we can say something like 220. Now you can see the column with changing over here kind of looks funny or 200 you can do multiple columns across so that's what column width does um, not gonna use that right now or maybe you can do like 816 for the full width of a page right okay now that we have that we can actually go with page height 2 so page height and we can set that to 156 this is probably going to change the whole layout of the page but uh, let's give it a shot okay um, let's what else do we have here I missed actually uh, page with page padding doo, doo, doo. I think these are the most significant ones line height let's go over here probably uh, actually no um, doo, 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 let's see layout get all this stuff okay Appearance, nothing that we don't know in there. Let's try this one, miscellaneous. Got some stuff. We can set the default viewing mode, viewing mode, or the zoom ratio, minimum, maximum, all that good stuff. So, you got play, plenty to play with, and. Uh, 
you know adjust it to what you need or to what you want to accomplish but for now that's enough I think we'll just set the page height and column width so we want the full width of the page and the full page height let's run this okay it looks a little weird but uh, let's go ahead and print this okay I'm gonna give this a flow document number four flow to PDF number four and let's open it up see what kind of result we get Okay, we got the full page, it looks like we got the full page height and full page width. That's pretty good. And since the picture doesn't fit in this portion, it, it kind of moves to the next one. So you see uh, some changes happen in this one. And uh, this one actually looks pretty much the same. Uh, other than that, everything else looks okay, I think. But again, if you I would probably set the page width and uh, column width first if I, you know, if the I goal is to print a full page and then work with your way out or work with your way up uh, to build the page. But uh, these are some of the options you have. And uh, again, you can play with it and uh, get to your desired uh, results. And again, this print button, of course, since it's part of the flow document, it's going to print as well. If you want, you can go with a context menu or add the button somewhere else outside the grid or outside the flow document. Okay. Um, I think that should do it. Um, Uh, if you have any questions, please drop in the comment section. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. All right? Thanks a lot. Uh, see you in the next one. Take it easy.